Ben Harrison, Onside Road, Birkenhead. <coughs> Chairman of the Tramway Rovers Trust. Um, two and a half thousand members, which is drawn from the support base of the club. Um, Tramway Rovers Football Club has been in existence for 130 years, uh, and we feel as fans it's a vital part of the community. Over this time, owners, directors, managers, and players have come and gone. But the one consistency are the fans and generations of families who support the club. Lots of clubs have been used and abused across the country by unscrupulous owners. And had the land taken off them, e.g. Chester and Wrexham, and some have even disappeared. I don't think anyone in this room can remember New Brighton, who existed on the Wirral as well. So we as supporters want Tramier Rovers Football Club to grow and thrive and be around for the next 130 years, so many other generations can enjoy the benefits of the club. Self-sustainability is the key. Um, like I was mentioned before, Tramier now have new owners, Mark and Nicola Palios. We don't have a wealthy benefactor anymore. So there's two reasons why we put the petition in to support the application. The club's academy offers opportunities for local young people to start and develop a career in football, be it at Tramier or elsewhere, offering opportunities. Young talent can come into the club's first team. Over the past 10 years, I think we've seen a lot of footballers arrive at Tramier who are so-called journeymen. I think as fans, we'd rather see the local talent uh, grow and thrive in the club. But also, it's run as a business and the club uh, has balanced its books on selling your talent as well. And now we've got no benefactor there. I think that's going to be a key part of the club going forward, hence the reasons for the academy. The other side, I think we've all most probably got our own bank overdrafts. The club is no different. And we believe this development will see a reduced overdraft um, for the club, saving a lot on uh, interest-free fees. And also the club will not be influenced by the bank's agenda so in summary, if this does get the go-ahead, it will give a chance to Tramia to stand on its own two feet, to develop and grow and work across the local community and the borough. The Trust realises it's a sensitive issue. We hope Tramia owners, new owners, do the right thing and work with Birkenhead Institute's old bodies to both parties' satisfaction. Thank you.
an environment which faces mature children are not overcoached. Professional players have had to retire because of overcoaching at a young age. <coughs> it keeps children healthy and teaches them about healthy eating. It keeps children fit. It keeps children away from computers. It teaches them to be mentally strong. It's an opportunity for children to interact with children of different backgrounds. It also provides an environment against racism and bullying. So what are the advantages to the parents? But there are many. It provides an environment which is professional, disciplined, safe and stimulating. It provides a clear pathway of progression to adversity. Now, I acknowledge most of the players will not have the to become professional players, but it provides them an opportunity. It will allow them to play at university. It will allow them to enter into part-time jobs for the children. And it may allow them to go and go to different Tramia also looks to develop life skills and provides internal education on drugs, alcohol, gambling, and management of success and failure. I believe that the consequences of a closure of the academy would be devastating. <coughs> we have children who, at the 12 level, for example, we have two who are at Brighton, and two at Wallace, two at Hesel, two at Bromera. It covers the whole of the world. Closing these worlds is an opportunity to inspire people. It would destroy many aspirations and dreams. We want to see more players like Max Power coming through and making it into the team and becoming the spirit. The spirit of the team is like speaking Jared as the rules. Academies improve players technically, psychologically, physically, and socially. Thank you. Thank you.
Sam Hughes and the Trials Policy, Jamie Bennett and the Pythians from Nestor, Jamie McCall and the Thirteens from Leamington, Sam Ramswater, my highly rated new keeper, uh, who's just come from the academy and won the first year contract, is from Grigsby. We support the whole of the Wirral. We look to try and move the club more into the community, engage with the council, engage with the community, because Mark, Nicola and I want us to be a major part of the community, because without the support of the community, we don't exist. Thank you. Thank you. Accept the fact that 